Hi everybody, thank you for stopping by today. I thought it would be so much fun to do the Pantone colors for the fall winter 2022-2023, that's a mouthful, London Fashion Week and New York Fashion Week. I'm gonna do this in two parts, London first and then New York in part two. If I have a piece in my wardrobe, I'm gonna try to show it to you that I think this is the color or I am going to look for something online and say this is where I'm seeing the fashion. So there's 10 colors and then there's five core classic colors. The core classic colors are definitely, in my opinion, a little bit more muted and neutral-esque. And then the other colors are a little bit more bold. But keep in mind, this is for fall, winter. So the colors are not going to be as bold and as vibrant as spring, summer. Let's go ahead and get started. The first color that I'm going to show you is Molten Lava. And it says, Molten Lava is a fiery red tone whose intensity burns bright. That is the statement by it. Now I do have something that I think is sort of close. It's not quite there. Molten Lava is definitely more reddish. The other color that I'm going to show you, this dress that I'm going to show you, is more of an orangey color I think. The color I will tell you was very deceiving on the website. On the website when I purchased it, it looked like a bold bright red and I will try to find that photo to show you as well. I bought the dress thinking I was going to wear it to my church on the 4th of July because that's the color it looked like. Then when it showed up, this is the color that I got. And I'm looking on the viewfinder and I think it's popping a little bit more red on the viewfinder, but this is definitely almost, we are in the neighborhood of burnt orange right here. The color I believe was called Bloody Mary. And I do like the dress. It's from Totem, Totem, Totem? <laughs> is it a video if I don't mispronounce something somewhere in it? Anyway, I have this dress in black. I love it. It's probably the most comfortable dress I have ever worn. I'm not disappointed in the color because the dress is very comfortable. It is going to be perfect for fall in Nashville. It does have short sleeves. The sleeves are a little bit in the style. Is that a Dolman sleeve or a Batwing sleeve? I have stuffed the black one, the sleeves, into a cardigan and didn't even notice any bulk from them. The dress is just a perfect dress. Super comfortable. They also have it in gray. It is on my wish list. I haven't got it yet. Don't know when I'll get it or if I'll get it, but they have it in gray as well. So it came out, I've seen it black, white, a creamy color, this color, and now gray. I hope they keep bringing it out because I would be one of those people that would get it almost in every color. The next color we have is Dragonfire. Y'all, I am loving this one. Dragonfire blazes with energy and excitement. Let me grab something. I think this is in Dragonfire. Here's the skirt. I think it's pretty close to Dragonfire. This is a two-tone or almost ombre look. It's, it's a little bit lighter up here than it gets darker. And I think this color at the bottom is pretty close to Dragonfire. I think it's almost a really good match. I will know better when I edit the video and put the swatch side by side with this skirt. I love it. I love it. Love it. This next color is called Meadow Violet. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Magical metal violet enchants and intrigues. Let me show you. I've got a skirt. This is pretty close. I also think it is a little bit of a take or a nod to Very Perry. This, of course, is way more purpley than Very Perry. Very Perry's got more blue in it, but it is definitely pretty close in my opinion. I love it. If you're curious, this skirt is from Cynthia. Roly, I hope that I pronounced that correctly. I love it. I'm here for the purples. The next color is green. I am loving it. It's called Abundant Green. Abundant Green is a verdant green emblematic of flourishing foliage. That statement gave me some trouble <laughs> trying to read it. I love it. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful color. I don't know that I have anything specifically in this color. Maybe, I'm not gonna reach up there, but maybe this linen blouse. Hopefully that enough of that is poking out so you can see it. It's pretty close. In my opinion, we're really, really close to emerald green, but this is just a teeny bit darker. Spicy mustard. We got a yellow. It's a pungent spicy mustard. Is strikingly exotic. That is the statement. Now, I love me some yellow. I love just about all color. I do like a lemony yellow a little bit better than this, but I realize it's fall, winter, so we're going to get a little bit darker. Those tones are getting just a little bit more muted. They're not those bold colors and those rich colors are even those pastels that you see in spring. So spring has pastels 
details. Then as we get into summer, they are bold and in your face. And then as we get back into fall winter, they get a little bit more muted. I'm liking the spicy mustard. I do like it. The next one is lichen blue. Nature inspired lichen blue evokes serenity. I do really like this color. It gives me just almost a calm, peaceful feeling. Just like a really beautiful body of water. That's if you could find one that color is absolutely beautiful. I like it. This next one. Oh, I love it. Strawberry cream. I love the name. Strawberry cream is a light infused sweet pink. And that is probably the best description I have seen on these colors so far. It is definitely a sweet pink. I don't know how else to describe it other than a baby pink. And I love it. I don't know how many times I'm going to say I love it in this video, but a bunch. Oh, this next one. I love this one too. This I think could definitely be a spring color, but regardless, I'm here for it. It's called Water Spout. Cleansing Water Spout cools and refreshes. This is a little bit of a turquoise, but I think lighter color than turquoise. Let me know what you guys think. I love this it. Next color is right now, it's probably my least favorite in that it is in the brownish color. In the brown colors, the tans and the browns, of all of the colors in the universe, <laughs> that is probably in those tones are my least favorite. It's not that I don't like them. I do. I have tan colors and I'm trying to think if I have anything actually in brown. Nothing is coming to mind right now, but I do have some tans, but this is chicory coffee. Chicory coffee is a roasted earthy brown. And I'm trying to think, I don't know that I would actually seek out this color and try to find something in it. If something came my way that I absolutely loved, I wouldn't turn it down. There you go, chicory coffee. I know some people are absolutely going to love it. And I don't know about you, but I'm seeing just a little bit of a reddish tone. Am I imagining that? I see a little bit of red in there. I actually like this next color. I think that it is not going to be everybody's favorite. It's cardamom seed. I don't have a piece of clothing in this color, but I've got a box that something came in. What do you think? I think this is almost an exact match. The box might be just a little darker and then cardamom seed may have a little bit more of a limey color in it. When people say lime green, you almost think of that bold neon green, but if you actually looked at a lime, the outer skin, that's what this looks like. Except I think lime may be a little bit darker. I love it. Cardamom seed, a citrusy herbal pod green. Oh, I love it. These London colors are fantastic. I think we are getting into the core classics now. When I flipped over and looked at this screenshot, I'm like, yep. <laughs> so this is tapioca. Creamy tapioca warms and comforts. This is reminding me just a little bit of the, they had one called coconut cream about a year ago. I think it was called coconut cream. This has got a little bit more almost neutral color, whereas coconut cream was more of a winter white. And I'm seeing this more of a neutral. I like it. Okay, this next one, again, not going to be my favorite. It's called iced coffee. Flavorsome iced coffee is an enticing creamy brown. This is what I would typically say just one of those almost caramel color tans. This is a little bit lighter than the traditional caramel color. I do like it again. I don't know how many times I need to say it at nauseum because you're probably getting bored. Not my favorite, but I don't hate it. This one is a peach caramel. Caramel, caramel, however you want to say it. Peach caramel, a warm, delectable, sweet peach. It's not peach to me. It's orange, burnt orange, but not like the other one. What was the other one called? Dragonfire. I liked Dragonfire better. If I'm going to pick between peach caramel or caramel or Dragonfire, I'm going to go hands down Dragonfire all day, every day all day every day. I do like this. You know what would be really nice? I'm thinking maybe a belt or a handbag in the color. Maybe some shoes. I'm seeing an accessory. I don't know that I want to wear this in an article of clothing, but an accessory I think I would like for sure. This next one, and I'm having trouble finding this color. I was looking online. I don't think I have anything in my wardrobe that I can, that's coming to mind. It's called Blueberry. Love the name. This Blueberry is a deep and dark indigo blue. It is almost black. When I looked at the color first, I thought it was charcoal. Honestly thought it was charcoal. I do really like it. So if you're someone who maybe just wears all blacks all the time, maybe look at the blueberry color just to introduce just a hint of color that gets you out of that all black outfit. I do like this one and I would definitely wear it. This last color in the Core Classics, this will be the last one, is called Quiet Shade. 
quiet shade and unobtrusive and sturdy gray tone. I like gray. Now this is interesting. I'm just going to share this with you guys. I really like the color gray, but I don't think gray likes me. I have gotten a few things in the past that were gray. Some people said you needed a white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, and a gray t-shirt. Those are the only colors you need. <laughs> That's what I heard somebody say on YouTube one time. I almost never wear the gray t-shirt. Okay. Let me back that statement up. That is not true. I just lied to you. What I should have said <laughs> was that when it comes to putting an outfit together that I would go shopping in, wear somewhere, and that maybe take a photo. I do not wear gray that often to do that. When I do wear gray a lot is I have this one shirt that is kind of my workout shirt. If I'm going to go walk the puppies, I'm going to wear this gray t-shirt. If I'm going to go to my favorite park, Radnor Lake, and take a nature walk. I'm going to wear this gray t-shirt. So actually I do wear gray a lot, but it isn't something that I wear when I want to build an outfit that is really cute that I would enjoy wearing. It's just one of those, I don't mind if I get it dirty type things. That's how I feel about gray, but I do really like it. And I remember a few years ago, I was this close to buying a gray handbag and I kind of regret that I didn't do it. I think gray is an item that can fit into anybody's wardrobe. But for me, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this as well. I think for me personally, it works better as an accessory than it does as an article of clothing, like a shirt or a top or a bottom. I just think it, for me personally, gray works better as an accessory. That is all of the colors in the London Fashion Week. Stay tuned for part two, New York Fashion Week.